Good morning. Welcome to the AutoCAD LT for Architecture tutorial series. In this series we're using AutoCAD LT for architectural drawing and our aim is to learn to use AutoCAD LT to create architectural documents like floor plans, building elevations, construction details and more. Right now we're building a library of drawings for all of our furniture items for the house. This is so that when we get to the stage where we draw the house plan, we can add our already drawn furniture into the project by inserting them into our plans. It saves us from having to draw them over and over again. All of the drawings we're creating here follow the metric standard sizes so that we can insert them into any plan that we decide to create for the rest of our lives. And everything will be in proportion with everything else. Today we're looking at the rest of the furniture for the kitchen. I thought to include them all in one video because it's just a bunch of squares and it's just going to save your time and my time as well. So the first thing we have here, there's a fourth one I'm going to draw because we're going to use a bit of a different method to draw that one. But let me explain the first three drawings I've drawn here. So we have a washing machine. Metric standard size is 600 by 600 millimeters. Um, I guess this is that tray where you you put soap in it or whatever. This is supposed to be the size of the washing machine. And we have a cupboard, which is 500 by 600. And the metric note says that it can be 500 or 600 millimeters. So it can be 600 by 600 millimeters or it can be 500 by 600 millimeters. In fact, let me draw both of them. Actually, I'm going to save this one separately and I'm going to draw a 600 by 600 one as well to save separately. And the same for the wall hung storage cupboard. This can also be 500 or 600. So I've chosen to draw 500 by 300 here. The, these are the metric sizes. Or it can be 600 by 300. Again, we're going to draw all of these separately and save them all separately. Now the fourth item I'm going to draw here is a dishwasher. Now with a dishwasher, it has a, it has a door that opens outwards and it sticks out into the room and it can get in people's way. If you have a table next to your dishwasher and some chairs, you need to make sure that there's enough space for the door to be able to open so you can load the dishwasher with dishes. And I'm going to represent that with a dashed line. So this video is about how to draw a dashed line mostly. So let's get started with that. I'm going to pick the line tool and I want to make it level with this here. Okay. I've picked the line tool and I'm going to set this down and let's see. And I've set that down. And the metric size for a dishwasher is 600 by 600. Just another simple square. Okay. Now the door that opens from the dishwasher sticks out at 650 according to the metric notes down by 600 and back to there that just looks like two blocks to me but i want to represent the opening door by dashed lines so to create dashed lines you come over to layer properties click it and you can see that I've already created one, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So go into new or create new layer and click it. And there's your new layer. I'm going to call it dash two. Okay. And I'm going to leave it white and the line type. That's what we need to change. So double click on continuous and I've already added a dash line here, but I want to show you how I did it. So I'm going to go to load and we have a bunch of patterns to choose from. So find anything that looks like a dash. Dash dot. We got Morse code here, everyone. Um, 
so there's the dashed uh, so this is the dashed that I used for this one but I want to pick a different dashed one dashed times 2 let's see how that looks and dash times 2 I'm gonna make sure that I select it here and hit OK so now the dash 2 line is assigned to this name here we can quit out of this and we can highlight the lines we want to change and come over here to layer properties again but this time select this drop down menu and assign your dash 2 line to get them to show up and there you have it a dashed line an opening dishwasher door represented by dashed lines so we can add this into our plan and make sure that it's not clashing with anything like a chair or a table or anything let's just quickly add dimensions because I like adding dimensions level it with this and this dimension too and I'm going to add a dimension for this as well and let's just copy this down you don't have to watch this part I've shown you everything I've shown you whatever this video is I've shown you whatever this video needed to show you feel free to leave if you want to or if you want to keep listening to my voice in case I crack a joke or something then keep watching what's it called again a dishwasher and there we go there you have it so we're gonna save all these as separate files and we're gonna move on all the kitchen items are done all the kitchen items are finished and I'm relieved by that because I was getting tired of drawing kitchen items next we're gonna move on to the living room so we're gonna draw sofas we're gonna probably draw a dining table a dining table could fit in a kitchen but I want to put the dining table in the living room so I'm gonna consider that as living room furniture okay if you enjoyed this video then give it a like our mission is to master this software for the use of architecture thank you very much and subscribe sadly I don't have any jokes for you today <laughs>